Good morning, everybody. This is Biz Chicks TV. This is the place where you can find tips and tools to help you do business better. We're here to help you run a profitable business that's fun to run and to take the hassle out of your hustle. And today is Thursday. So, you know, on Thursdays, we always talk about happy, healthy habits with Robin Shimizu and friends. And so I want to welcome you to the program. I want to give a shout out to my co-producer, Hey, Miss Francine Gregory, my partner in Biz Chicks. She's a real estate entrepreneur and our tech diva. So all this wonderfulness is happening because of all the wonderful skills that Francine possesses. Uh -huh. So if you need help with your social media, call Biz Chicks. But in the meantime, I want to introduce Miss Robin Shimizu, who is our host today. She is our health guru, and she's <laughs> going to be introducing our guest, Joan. And I want you guys to sit back, hydrate, relax, and get ready to receive some wonderful information about how to keep your health. If you don't have your health, you can't keep your wealth. With that, I'm going to introduce to some and present to others, Miss Robin Shimizu. Hey, Robin. <laughs> hey, Terry. How Good you doing, beautiful? You. Oh, hi, thank well. you. Um, and hi, Joan. Thank you for hi, joining Robin. I'll introduce you in just a moment. Um, this morning, I wanted to give you guys a healthy habit. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm all into um, relaxing our brain because I think our brain is one of the most important organs in our body. It controls everything. And so I've been really concentrating on how people can reduce their stress, which helps their brain health. And so today I just wanted to remind you, since it's so beautiful outside, that just every day, if you can do this, go out for a 10-minute walk, and while you're walking, just breathe deeply. Breathe in that fresh, clean air, and, and just breathe, because that breathing helps you relax. It helps your body remember what it feels like to relax. And then the last thing to do while you're out on your walk is to visualize, and so set yourself up and picture yourself on a vacation or picture yourself in your favorite um, beach or even picture yourself accomplishing a future goal. So if you do those three little things every day, it will help you reduce your stress and it will be help healthy for your brain. So with that, I wanted to introduce our guest today, Joan Heher. I met Joan at one of the Biz Chicks events at Seasons 52 one, um, one Monday evening. And I just felt her energy and her, her just positive vibes. It was just really great to meet her. And this was months and months ago. And I still have that feeling about her. She just exudes energy. She's a relationship expert. She's a life coach and a mentor. And she's a motivational speaker. And what she does, she helps you avoid or helps you learn how to avoid toxic relationships and to help you find long lasting, loving relationships. So that's her niche. But I'd like her to introduce herself. And please tell us a little bit more about yourself, Joan, and then uh, treat us with your wisdom today. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Robin. Everybody, my name is Joan Heher, and I have been married for 30 years. I have a very large blended family, and I really love everything family. I like all your family cookouts, your family picnics, your family gatherings, and we just sometimes get together and sit around and chew the fat, laugh, and tell jokes. The reason that I became a relationship expert, ladies, is because my daughter went through a very rough patch. She married someone who was just, if his picture were in the dictionary, it would be under Mr. Wrong. So once my daughter went through that rough patch and I helped her out, I said, you know, there are probably a whole lot of women who are going through the same thing. And so I didn't want my daughter to give up. I didn't want her to be depressed. I didn't want her to be down. I helped her and said, you know what? The next time that you look for someone, you need to look for somebody with these traits. I didn't want her to begin to attract the same type of person that she had divorced. So I helped her and my daughter now is happily married. And furthermore, when the guy left, my daughter was six months pregnant. But now that baby is 12 years old, has a loving father and a loving home. And it, that was a success story for my daughter. So I have been mentoring and helping women 
for all that time, you know, because a lot of times we as women, we're nurturers. What we want to do is help, help. We think we can change people, but sometimes you just can't change a person. Sometimes you have to learn when you need to cut the rope. Sometimes you have to learn when it's time to just move on or either sometimes things are reconcilable. So what I do is go around the country. I host conferences for women and I just help women to get a sense of who they are and learn their value because a lot of times we're undervalued. We don't realize who we are. But I have to tell you, ladies, that in society and in the community, it cannot function without women. We contribute a lot to the world. We really do. Now, today, what I want to talk about is safe dating. You know, safe dating and the holidays are upon us, ladies. So I'm going to tell you that there are plenty of tips and tools we can use. Now, if you're looking for a date, you can always do what people usually do. You can network. You can talk to family. You can talk to friends. You can talk to your coworkers. You can say, hey, do you have a brother or uncle or <laughs> uh, a niece? Not a niece, but oh well. well anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but do you have a brother? Do you have an uncle? Mm -hmm. Do you have a nephew? Somebody that's eligible, somebody that I can date. And most times people will say, as a matter of fact, you know what? I have somebody in mind. Do you have a friend? Does your husband have a friend? Does your boy have a friend have a friend? That's a good way to look for somebody to date safely. Because usually when you're introduced to these people, usually they're sane, they're not crazy. And you're just maybe looking for a date to go to a holiday party, New Year's party, something like that. If you get together and things flourish, that's even better. Another thing that we can do for safe dating is we need to watch our surroundings, see where we are, and make sure that things are going as they should. So ladies, it's okay to ask your relatives, your friends, your coworkers, do you know somebody I can date? If you don't have anybody to date, because we do have a lot of single ladies out there and I want the holidays to be safe for them. You mm. start that way. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to date safely. And also as far as cyber dating ladies, I know we've all heard of the Craigslist killer and things like that. So if you are thinking about cyber dating, here are just some common tools we can use. Common, like, okay, when you cyber date, the first thing you wanna do is meet in a public place. You don't wanna meet, don't want anybody to say, hey, come over over to my house and let's get together. No, you meet in a public place. Another good tip is you don't have to have dinner. You can schedule the date for coffee, drinks, meet at Starbucks, meet at a cafe. You meet at Starbucks, you meet at the cafe. If there's no uh, explosion going on, you don't have like uh, <laughs> electricity, the lightning bolt doesn't hit you, -choom, you're like say, oh, this is not Mr. Right. You could just get up and say, you know what? I have something else to do. It was so nice to meet you. And then you can move on. You don't have to draw it out. So always, and also you wanna let somebody know where you're going. I would say, hey, you know what, Terry? I met this guy online. I'm going on a date. Here's the phone number. This is where we're going. And if you wanna take it a step further, I can say, Terry, why don't you come on over? We're gonna be at Starbucks. You sit at the back table. He's not <laughs> gonna know you're there and you let me know what you think. I mean, those are just some common sense things you can do. You let everybody know where you're going. You don't say, hey, okay, let's go meet in Reno. Let's meet in Vegas. Let's meet in Tahoe. No, meet locally. Let them know where you're going. And then you, you say, hey, and then if Terry, I got my phone, Terry says, you know what? I got a funny feeling about him, Joan. You send me that text right away. I'm going to look. I'm going to say, oh, Terry's right there. And then that's when I'm going to say, thank you, Terry. And I'm going to look at, at Mr. Wonderful or whoever he is. And I'm going to say, you know what? I got to leave, you know that. Thank you so much. It was great. And then you just cut the rope right there. You don't have to get yourself in a long, uncomfortable situation when you're cyber dating. You can keep it short. You can see if they look sane. And then if they don't, you just leave. You leave. And I tell you, you never give anybody your address. You never tell them too much about yourself until you find out who they are. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the tips for cyber dating. Never meet alone always meet in public, always let somebody know where you are, always. And then if you want to avoid being catfish, thing that you can do, the beauty of the cell phone, video chat. Don't let somebody tell you that they're somebody that they are not. 
You just say, hey, you know what? Could you turn on your video chat and can I look at you for a minute? Because you don't want to know, really. People get catfished all the time. I saw the catfish story where the lady was, she was 12 years old. She'd been following this person for 10 years and finally she's an adult. So she says, now I want to meet this person I've been chatting with on the phone. 10 years, this is a true story. I want to meet this person. The catfish people get together a team. They go to Chicago or wherever they fly the young lady to. She wasn't even talking to a guy. She was talking to a lady. So you want to know who you're talking to. And then if you they don't look right over the phone, you could say, you know what? It was so nice to chat with you. Bye. And then you block them. You don't have to keep getting, you know, messages from them. You could just block them on your phone. It's really simple. So I would really recommend that you make short dates of cyber dating. Nothing wrong with cyber dating. There are plenty of dates out here. However, you want to implement those safety rules. You do not want to go and hang out with someone alone. You want to let somebody know where you're going. That's just absolutely key. It's elemental in cyber dating. Never alone. Always let somebody know where you are. And don't give the person say, oh, you know what? I live at one, two, three, ABC lane. (laughs) Never, (laughs) never. You don't do that. And that's just one of the tips. Also, because ladies, we have the holidays coming upon us. Who's ready to say Merry Christmas? Mm. Well, I'm going to, yeah, Merry Christmas. I'm going to tell everybody right now, all of our viewers, Merry Christmas, Happy (laughs) New Year, and Happy Thanksgiving. I know I'm ahead of myself. (laughs) However, when we are shopping, uh, Christmas time, you know, is stressful. What you want to do is implement a few safety rules for shopping, being out and about, Don't do this. Don't have your cell phone in your face. Put the cell phone away. Hold it in your hand. Look at where you're going. Has any of us ever been on the cell phone and almost ran into something? I have to admit I have. I have. I've been on the cell phone. I'm all in the cell phone. It's like, oh, I'm bumping into people. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. And they give you that look like, get off the phone. (laughs) So you want to always be in your surroundings when you're out and about shopping. Whether it doesn't matter where you're shopping, whether it's Arden, Galleria, it doesn't matter whether you're in another state, another country. Notice your surroundings. See where people are. If you're shopping, don't run and put all of your bags in the trunk because you know Mm -hmm. what? People break in cars. That's not a safe thing to do. If you want to just try to hold all your bags until it's time for you to go. And and then when it's time for you to go, go to the parking lot, get in the car. And you also want to park in well lit areas. Don't want to go parking in the corner, in the dark. Don't want to park in Egypt all the way across the parking lot. Then you have that long walk to the, you know, Mm -hmm. by yourself. And you can also team up, shop with friends. Say, hey, you know what, Terry? Hey, Robin, you know what? Let's go shopping. You guys Christmas shop yet? I'm looking for something for whoever it is. Get together because there's safety in numbers. You always want to shop with someone. Don't go shopping when it's almost time for the mall to close. This is probably the time when you got anybody that's nefarious or suspicious hanging around looking for a victim. And don't look like a victim. Stand up straight. Walk with confidence. Go across the mall. Have your keys in your hand. Don't be at the car digging. Oh, boy, I can't find my keys. And you know how we are as women. We're digging, digging, digging for the keys. Don't do that. Have them in your hand. And also, if the uh, mall offers security, don't take help from strangers. If some stranger comes up and says, oh, Joan, can I help you with your bags? Thank you so much for asking. But no, you can't help me. Also in the store, sometimes they have people that will escort you out. They'll escort you out safely. And then you get in your car and you drive away. Also, you never want to park next to vans. You never want to park where there's a big truck and then it impedes your vision. You can't see what's beside you. Always try to park by cars that look like yours. Smaller cars. Don't park where it's going to give a person a block so that anything that's going on, nobody can see. And also, you know, carry a whistle. Though That's just another safe dating tip. You know, you always want to have your, not dating, but shopping. You want to be safe. You could carry a whistle or anything that's going to make noise. But most safe thing to do, shop in numbers. 
tell somebody you're going shopping. Get some friends, get some coworkers, get your daughter, get your sister, get your niece, get somebody to come with you so that you can stay safe when you are shopping for the holidays. Another thing that I'd like to stress for, for safety during the holidays, cut down the stress. How about keeping it simple? How Instead of ripping and running all over town with a big long to-do list for <clears throat> cooking dinner, for getting gifts, keep it simple. You could give everybody a gift card or you could just stuff cash in the envelope. That really keeps it simple. You don't have to worry about wrapping, get a few cards, get a few gift cards, give them out and say, Merry Christmas. You can also simplify your dinner. You don't have to have a 35 course meal at Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> I know that we like to, you know, everybody's like, oh, I had this big old spread. Keep it simple, have a great protein, have a vegetable and have a starch, get a few desserts, that's enough. I mean, that's what I do. I keep it simple. I don't do all the ripping and running and you get yourself stressed out. And by the time it is Christmas or New Year's or Thanksgiving, you're too tired to enjoy yourself. You know, everybody's up having a good time. What about you, uh, Terry? You're like, oh, boy, I'm too pooped to pop or do anything. <laughs> nope, I am not the one. I started a long time ago ordering my dinner, having it catered because... It was just too much and working every day. And then you only have the, the day off. So now what are you going to spend all night the night before? And you're, I, mm -mm, no, I want, I'm like you. I wanted to be, sit down with my family and enjoy it. So there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. So what you want to do is like you said, simplify. I'm with you, Terry. I didn't want to admit it, but I've ordered also the outdoor. My, my son said, mom, could you please cook? I said, I'm done with all that cooking and all that standing up all day and starting cooking the night before. And I defrosting. started ordering. <laughs> yep, defrosting, cleaning up. Oh, not to mention putting it away. That's my nightmare, ladies. When it's time to put the food away, I'm like, oh no. And then, but my husband, he's really good. He'll step in and say, baby, don't worry. I'll put the food away. I'm like, thank God. But now I just don't do all of that. Mm -hmm. I've simplified. And that way you can enjoy your time with your family and your friends. Exactly. I, you know? no. Things have I changed. I'm, not, I'm yeah. not my mother. No, I'm not. And that's it. I'm not my mother. My mother did have the 35 course meal and she would start cooking three or four days before. And I'm like, what are you doing? She said, I'm in here baking pies. I'm like, oh, no, not me. So those are some things you can do to simplify. You can order out your meal. You can just have a three course meal with a few desserts. And what I like to do is have a banana split bar. It's really easy. You get all your <laughs> toppings. No, you really, you get your ice cream, you get your bananas, you get all your toppings, you set it out and let everybody go for it. There's dessert, banana split bars, and it works out wonderful. That sounds like great. Yeah, That's a like good idea. Split. Yeah, everybody so, loves banana splits. Joan, I kind of want to get back to the tips you were giving us about the shopping. Oh, the and safety it, tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the safety tips, which um, I think is really timely because people are going to start shopping pretty soon or if they haven't already. And I think you're... Your tips are wonderful. And I think the, the thing that's really important to me is I like to go shopping by myself. And I never oh. really think because to me, it's relaxing to just go out and just wander around and shop by myself. So I don't really um, off, I often don't go with other people. So that was a really good reminder for me to be more careful and to be more cognizant and not to be so cavalier about you know, my time alone that I'm shopping mm -hmm. and having a good time by myself because sometimes we need that alone time too. So thank you for that. That was very helpful. And I think there's, um, there's other tips I think that you gave us about the shopping that were, was really helpful. So thank you oh, for yeah. that. Well, you're welcome. Well, Joan, I want to also add that um, you can have, you can indicate who you want to actually be able to track you by setting your phone, um, uh -huh. Robin. Uh, because when I visited my brother, I would go out walking in the morning alone in a uh -huh. new neighborhood. And so I allowed them to track me. Oh, great. That's wonderful. They knew That's a wonderful where I tool. was through my That's phone. a wonderful tool. So oh, if wonderful. you still want your solitude, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. So, Terry, how, yeah. how do you do that? How do you? Uh, what do you? We'll, we'll talk about that. Um, but there are there's an app, and also there's settings on your iPhone that you can okay. allow people access to be able to track you. Like, uh, because I know my sister-in-law tracks her daughter when she's on her dates. Oh, her, great. Her daughter allows her to track her. Yeah. Great. It's, That's a great tool. You know, through her phone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you taught me something. That's really That's great. Tough. We need to get that information. What is the app? Do you have that information, Terry, for the you app? You know what? On your iPhone, there's a setting that a that you ha allow people access to track you through your phone and you put in the phone number of that person. Um, and so we'll, we'll have that information for you on Friday. How's oh, that? Wonderful. Because That's Friday wonderful. we talk tech, which is tomorrow. So oh, I'll, yeah. I'll look yeah. into it so I can simplify it. So we don't take up this show because I want to get on with the other things that you have to tell us, Joan, but I will make that information available tomorrow. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. That really is a wonderful tool. It and is. I understand, yeah, I understand wanting to be alone when you want to shop or something like that, but still you want to be cognizant of mm -hmm. your surroundings because we yeah. do get complacent. And these are just tips that we should practice on a daily basis. But, you know, during the holidays, you do have more people, you do have more purse snatching, more mugging, more assault. Mm -hmm. And there's also things you can do as far as if you're getting any gifts coming from Amazon or FedEx or anybody, if you want to avoid porch pirates and stuff like that, if you live in an apartment complex, say, you know what, drop them off at the office. Or also, if mm -hmm. you live at home, you can just tell them, hey, leave it at the place and I'll pick it up. Don't allow them to drop it off. I know that may seem like an extra mm -hmm. step, but it's more of a problem if you don't get your gift. It's better to, for it to be sitting in the FedEx warehouse or the UPS warehouse where you get off work or wherever and you say, hey, don't deliver, I'll pick it up. Because this is just that time of year where you have people, they'll ride around neighborhoods and say, oh, there's a package and they collect them. Or you can use cameras. All, unfortunately, the camera's not gonna help you to get your gift back. It might tell you who's standing out there or who took it away. But I mean, the cops and law enforcement is very busy. So they, are they really gonna go track down my cheese tray? No, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> so you're gonna have to, you know, you're going to have to implement some of these rules to take care of your own cheese tray, you know, mm -hmm. and just be careful if you have packages dropped off or anything like that. You know, just I would for me, what I do is I just go ahead and say, no, don't deliver. I'll pick it up because, you know, I'm sorry, but that's just the world we live in. Mm -hmm. It really is. So that, that's just another tip. If you do online shop, you know, you can kind of make sure you get them or you could have a scheduled delivery and say, deliver it at this time when I'm home. Although they may not like scheduled deliveries, but you can, you can call mm -hmm. up and say, Hey, I got a package. You could track it and say, Hey, deliver it at seven o'clock. That's when I'll be here. Don't deliver it at one, two, three or 4 PM. Cause I'm not going to be there. So you could do that. And that can also help as far as safety. Nobody picking up your packages off of your door and you never see it again. Or you go through the hassle of trying yeah. to get them to re-deliver. And that's a problem too. But I just yeah. want to reiterate that through safe dating, short dates, and thank you, Terry, for the tracking app. You can use that. Always let somebody know where you are. Park in well-lit spaces. Get somebody to escort you out. Don't take help from strangers. Don't park where big trucks are, vans, or park where there's a corner or someplace to hide. Always park out in the open, you know, because if you, you don't want anybody hiding behind a dumpster, never park near trash cans, dumpsters, things like that. Not safe, not safe. And it gives somebody an opportunity if a bad you know, person is out there. Not yeah. to say something's going to happen, but prevention is better. Prevention is much better right. than, yes. you know, also, getting hit upside the head. Mentioned. <laughs> yes, you want to. So, mention. Joan, I also wanted to uh, remind everybody that we've got people viewing this this show of ours. So we're oh. happy to to see that Brenna is on and Janice Jordan is on and we've got Alfredo who's watching um, and Jay was on earlier also. So I wanted to thank people for tuning in and, and watching our show for us today. So thank All you. Right. Oh, and Lakeisha's on. Hello, Lakeisha. Thank you for coming Hi, Lakeisha. <laughs> Hi, everybody. 
Yes. Yeah. And I think that the uh, reminder about being safe while we're outdoors, whether we're shopping or not, right, mm-hmm. is a really, really good reminder just to be more aware and the to get off of our phones when we're walking. Just yes, put your phone in the purse and just <laughs> walk with purpose and yes, enjoy the scenery and, and just be aware. And I think that's what this show does for me the most is that it just raises awareness. It just reminds us of things that we know already, um, but it's just uh, good to be reminded to be careful yeah. and to be more cognizant. So thank well, you for yeah. that. Well, there's some things that I actually do during the holiday season in particular is I don't put my credit cards in my purse. Right. I, I usually use a lanyard or something that's closer to my body where I, so if they take my purse, you know what I'm saying? They don't have yes. access to my ATM idea. card or whatever. Yes. And yeah. also if I'm carrying a phone, I try to carry it either in my pocket or near my body. So if they take my purse, because we have so much on these phones. Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. We do. It's your whole life. Your your life is on the phone. You know That's what I'm saying? True. A lot. Of, there's some important things, and because nobody remembers phone numbers anymore, no. we don't even can we even call home or call our girlfriend because we don't know the number. You know what I'm saying? For the most right. part. That's so, true. Um, I try to separate the important things from the frivolous stuff. Yes. And and use a cross body bag or something that goes down here where on a lanyard where I can pull it up and pull out my cards or whatever. That's, That's really smart. smart. That's I, very I haven't thought smart. about that. And oh, the yeah. other thing is to not put your cell phone in your back pocket. Yes. Please, people. Yes. How <laughs> many times have you seen people walking around with that cell phone in their back pocket? And it's so easy to just snatch that right yes. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so, true. That's true. I think keeping it on a crossbody purse or keeping it, um, I don't know, I, I put things in my front pocket, but. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, yeah. Yeah. Can yeah I don't useful. trust pockets because you remember when you were a little girl, your mom said stuff would walk out. That'll walk out uh-huh. of your pocket. That'll walk. Yeah, it will. <laughs> It'll walk out of your pocket or you lose it. You pull it yeah. out and you lose it. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. So if I you know. have something that you can um, put it in, and then put it somewhere closer to your body. That's a good thing. But make sure that thing closes up too. That's right. <laughs> it's not That's just right. Don't have the zipper open. And we can use fanny packs and things like that. And it yeah. might even be a good idea to dump the purse, like you said, Terry, and get a lanyard. Put all your important things in your lanyard. Put mm-hmm. it inside the body. Inside. Yeah. That's right. And then they can't just rip it off. They don't even know it's there until exactly. you pull it out. And like I said, and it might be hands good free. Idea. And your hands and free. That's right. That's right. And you, your hands are free. And that's very important because you don't want to be caught in the mall with your hand or outside, hands all loaded down. What are you going to do if you do have an assailant? What can you do? Throw everything aside. And you don't, like I said, walk with confidence like you know what you're doing and have your hands free. Those are very okay. good tips. Free hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And st- and even if you're alone, I suggest that when you're going out to the parking lot, that you look for someone who's going the same way, who appears yes. to have been a shopper. That's right. You know I mean? Someone. Yeah, that's right. Walking in that direction. And, you know, if it's a lady, you can say, hey, how you doing? Do you mind if you will walk together? And that there's no problem with buddying up with, you know, you can kind of gauge people and see who they are. You see another mm-hmm. lady. She's got Neiman Marcus bag, Saks Fifth. She's coming out of Macy's Nordstrom's. Chances are she's just like you, just trying to get some gifts and get home safely. Exactly. That's right. That's that's a great tip. Buddy up with the person coming out. That's mm-hmm. really a great Or thing. use the valet service, people. Yes. It's five bucks. For God's that's sake, right. use the valet. Use the valet. <laughs> that's right. Use the valet. And, and that's a very useful service. Use the valet. Use the security guards. Use what the uh, mall and the stores have given. And they do do that because they're cognizant of safety. They don't want to have any liability in case something does happen to a shopper. Exactly. They certainly want you to get there safely. So if you're shopping alone, I, I would highly recommend to use the valet service because Smart. now it's cheaper than spending all that time on the phone trying to replace your cards. It is. <laughs> it is. And Think that, about and it. That's a is your time worth 10 bucks? 
<laughs> exactly. So your question. time is worth it. Your car is also parked along with other cars that are, yes. are also valet. And so your car is actually safer too, I'll bet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Having your car, your purse or whatever stolen out of your car is a nightmare. So that that's, that's a really good tip, Terry. I never, I, you know, I'm very good. Yeah. Thank you. Be because so, those valets are running back and forth to that area, even mm -hmm. though it's on the far end, they're mm -hmm. going back and forth. So they would notice something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they would. And then, you know, like you said, they would notice something. The car is not just there for somebody to come and sneak and do whatever right. it is they think they're going to do. That's a great mm -hmm. tip. Use the valet. Use the is valet. Your time worth $10. Yes. If you already have packages in your car, then it makes more sense to valet yeah. park it. Oh my gosh, please don't leave packages exposed yeah. in your car. Don't, don't you know, sometimes we get lazy and we'll say, oh, I'm just going in here for five minutes. Right. And ah. then that five minutes, you come back, window broken, everything gone. Oh, oh I love, love it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trunk is popped. You're like, oh no, how did they know I had packages there? Well, you have to think about it. It's the holidays. Where do people put most of their packages? In the trunk, so they can't and, be seen. So, and yeah, like you they, said, people are watching. That's because right. People are watching. Locks are for, are for honest people. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Because if somebody wants something, they'll get it. You're They're right. In the Locks business. are for honest people. They're in the business. And mm -hmm. they know how to get it quickly and move on. Like you said, it's just five minutes. You go for five minutes, come back, something happens. So, yeah. Yeah, that kids like that, that that laptop that you picked up at the Apple Store or that that new Apple Watch or whatever it is you got for somebody. Right. Hey, right. You guys, I wanted to read one of the comments that we got from Lakeisha. She's so cute. She says, "How about hosting a Mary Kay truck shop that comes to your house?" I love it. Well, yeah, that that's was, a great idea. Or, or your event, you know. Yeah. You oh, event, yeah. Have, you know what? That's a great idea. I, yeah. I could do that. That I could hook up with you, Keisha. Actually, and we can <laughs> we can do that. That's not a bad that's idea a at all. That's a great so idea. Speaking of events, like, um, do you, ha Joan? Do you have any events coming up that you would like to talk to us about, or let us know I what's do. happening with you? I do. What's going on is I am having an event February 1st, 2020. It's mm -hmm. going to be from 12 to 2 p.m. And it's going to be the lovers event. Don't give up on love since February is Valentine's month. You can come on out to North Highlands Community Center. We got free lunch. We got door prizes. We got raffles and come on out for a uh, good time with friends and we're going to have some fun. And also I'm going to be giving you all the relationship tips, how to avoid a counterfeit. You ever date somebody and you thought they were Mr. Right, but they weren't. We'll give you tips so you don't fall into those traps. So February 1st, 2020 at the North Highlands Community Center, we're going to be having our lovers conference. And do you have opportunities at that conference for vendors or would you like to have? Yes, uh, we do. You? So they maybe can. we'll, we can put your contact information up in the chat after we're after we're done here. Absolutely, so they can contact, can, yeah. contact me or whatever. Maybe yes. Mary Kay truck will be there. Mary Kay, How about that? that that's a wonderful <laughs> idea. Absolutely, we usually have about five or six vendors, space permitting. So yeah, that would be great. Have room for uh, I say eight at the most, eight vendors. So yes, you can contact me, email or text, and I'll get right on it. Great, great. Well, with that, uh, Joan, um, if there's anything else that you'd like to add, um, I think we are in our 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, tell okay. you, I, tell I do want to remind everybody that first Mondays is coming up. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just put that on your okay. calendar. Those of you who are in the local area, we do our Biz Chicks Meetup at Seasons 51 every first Monday at 6 p.m., so that um, you can scoop by after work or, you know, at, at the end of the day. Um, so if you're looking to get a ticket to that, you can, um, Francine has put the information in the chat for firstmondays.com. You can go there and get a ticket. Um, the event is free and we have wonderful speakers. Also tomorrow is Tech Friday. We'll be talking tech and English and I'll have that information for you about how to allow people to track you through your phone. Um, so we look forward to seeing you. Is there anything else you'd like to share before? Okay, then, guys, I just want to remind everybody. Hi, Janice. Don't forget to go to the front of your own line, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Bye guys.